welcome back. For anybody who is new, my name is Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how to apply false lashes. False lashes can be very tricky to achieve. I have had a few friends ask me like, how do you get your eyelashes on? And my only answer is it takes practice. It really, really does take practice. It's not something easy to achieve. But I promise you that with practice, you are going to be a pro. I had such a hard time when I first started applying lashes. Like I had an eyelash all the way over here or something. It was way too low that it would go on my actual eyelashes. So it is not something easy. But I'm going to show you some of my tricks that I have that have helped me through my eyelash journey, I guess you could say. And hopefully within a week of you trying every single day using my techniques you will get your eyelashes down to pro status i think that the easiest brand of lashes to work with when you are a beginner to eyelashes are the ardell lashes now these lashes you can find them anywhere they sell them at ulta they sell it at any drugstore walmart i've seen them everywhere because it is a pretty popular brand these are really nice to use when you are a beginner because the thin, the bands are really thin and flexible which makes the eyelashes easier to apply and also they're very lightweight so if you are a beginner you don't want to feel like you have a brick going on in your lashes so they're very lightweight and I think those are the best lashes for beginners. I switch eyelashes like I switch underwears. Like seriously, I love testing out new eyelashes and trying new eyelashes. So, um, but as of right now, my current, my, can't even talk today. As of right now, my current favorite ones are these right here. And these are the Trillium. Um, my eyelashes are gone because I actually left them in the car. These are, the band is thicker, so it is a little bit more harder to apply, especially if you're a beginner, don't don't get something that has a thick band because it is harder to apply. So these do have a thicker band to them. The Ardell, they have so many, um, first of all, I hope I'm saying that right. I think they are, that's how you pronounce it, Ardell. Probably saying it wrong. I currently don't have any Ardell eyelashes, but I have some right here that are pretty similar to them in terms of thickness of the band and flexibility so i'm going to use these to show you uh, what we are going to need is of course the lashes there is different types of glues my favorite one is the ardell eyelash glue and they have it of course in a clear color and a black color i like the black color because since the eyelashes are black if in, if a little bit goes over the eyelash or if I put too much then it's not that noticeable uh, before I used to use the white one and sometimes you could still see that tackiness on the eyelash and I did not like that so I use the black one right here I have the this is the dual eyelash and this one is a creamy consistency and this one it has a little wand to it I don't use this one that often because I feel like this one sticks the eyelash more than this one. So this one I use it in case of an emergency that I might run out of this one. But this is my go-to one. So this is the one that I'm going to use for this video. You also need some tweezers. And I just have some cheap tweezers. They also have... I'll insert a picture right here. But they also have these type of tweezers. And these are easier as well. But... I don't have those so we're gonna use this for this video don't need some scissors mascara and an eyelash curler so let me get you guys zoomed in and then we'll go ahead and get started make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started hello there now we are closer so let's go ahead and get started so normally they come like this. If you can't figure out which eyelash goes on which eye, the longer side of the eyelash is for the outer corner of the eyelash and the one that is shorter is for the inside. So this one, these are longer than these on the inside. So this eyelash would go on this eye. These are longer than these this side. 
So this eyelash is on this side. The first thing you want to do is measure the eyelash on your eye before we apply it. And we want to do this because not everybody has the same size of eye. So the eyelash might not fit your eye. So we always want to measure it to make sure that the length is perfect for our eye. I find that I usually have to trim mine. And right away I noticed that it's big like always. So instead of trimming from the back, I'm going to trim from the front. If you are not sure on how much to cut, cut a little bit at a time. You don't want to cut a bunch and then your eyelash be too short. So instead just cut a little bit, try it out. If you still need to cut some more, then go in and cut some more. So there we go. You see the reason why we want to cut from here for the front is because it's still shorter than this side. If you cut from the back, then the hairs in the middle are normally the same size. It goes small, medium, and large. So if you cut from the end, then you're just going to be left with medium hairs. So from the front, you still have plenty of small hairs. So it makes it look more natural. Go ahead and try it. And that looks like a way better fit. So depending on your preference, you can go ahead and skip this step and move on to the next step or you can go ahead and just follow me. So I like to put my mascara on before I put my eyelashes on. Some people like to put their eyelashes on and then put the mascara on. I like to put mascara on first so I'm going to go ahead and do that and go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm using the Remel London Shake It Fresh Mascara and I just apply a thin layer on there. I'm going to go ahead and take some glue and I, instead of just going straight into the eyelash and putting it on, what I like to do is I like to squeeze a little bit, just like that, just put it straight on the eyelash. You want to just put it on the band, try not to get none on the actual hairs. And you want to apply a thin layer. You don't want it to be a whole mountain of glue, so just a thin layer. Bam. After we have it on, you don't want to go straight and put in the eyelash. You want to wait until your glue gets a little bit tacky, like maybe a minute. If you go straight into the eyelash, it's going to be very, very difficult to apply the eyelash. So if you wait for the glue to get tacky, it'll be a lot easier to work with the eyelash. Your glue won't go all over. Be patient and wait for the glue to dry. If you're super impatient like me, then just blow, blow, blow on it to speed up a little bit of the time. Alright, so what you want to do is get your tweezers. You could get your eyelash right here at the very bottom and if you're comfortable using it like this then that's great you know whatever works for you but if you're a beginner I would suggest moving the tweezer as close to the band as you can but don't touch the band this will give you more control of the eyelash so closer to the band is easier so whenever you apply it what you want to do is you want to apply the middle on the middle of the eyelash and go as close to your eyelashes as you can but don't go on top of your lashes. Go ahead and glue the middle first. Just apply it there. So now we're going to work, get the front and put it as close to the eyelash line as we can. And then now the back. And that's it. Now with this side, I'm going to show you a different technique if you still think that this one is too hard and you still can't get it down. Um, as you guys can see, I got it as close to my eyelashes as I can and I had a little bit of glue right here that kind of went onto my lid. Let's go ahead and wait for it to dry and then clean it up because then you're just going to make a sticky mess. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then, um, and then I'll go back and clean it. So with this eye, let me go ahead and apply the glue to my lashes. So I'm literally down on the floor now. So 
what you want to do is put your mirror put your elbows on the table so you can have more control of your eyelash and then we're going to go straight in same method applying it in the middle and then doing the front the back however you want to do it and that's it so you see it makes it way better because as the mirror is below you're able to see your eyelashes and your lash line way easier so this is definitely a trick that I suggest if you just cannot get it down there's some people who just cannot apply lashes no matter how many tricks they try so if you really cannot get it down try doing this trick get in a table something flat put a mirror um, and try doing it like this this I think it's one of the easiest method you're able to see everything perfectly let me go ahead and get back up even after you do those two methods and you still can't get your eyelash as low to the lash line as possible it's okay it's okay as long as you got it as close as you could it's okay I'm going to show you the next trick the next trick is to get your eyelash curler and we don't want to curl the lashes I mean if you want to curl them curl them but that's not the reason why I'm showing you this trick this trick is to help you if your band is still a little bit too high and not as close to your lashes then this is how you can get your band pushed down into your eyelash closer to your eyelashes so what you want to do is just put it down all the way to the end as close as close to your eye as possible and just push it down like literally like maybe one two okay just squeeze down one and then two so one, two. What that does is it just pushes the band closer to your eye. And let's go ahead and try with this eye now. I mean, I got mine pretty close on there, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it. One, two. See this one, I curled a little bit. And I curled it because I didn't put it too far down into my eyes so you want to make sure that whenever you put it that you could feel your eyelash curler on your lid when you do that you know you have put your curler pretty good in there but if you want to curl your eyelashes then this will be a win situation i normally don't curl it because like i said my eyelashes are always so dramatic so i don't need no more dramatic to it i really really hope that these techniques can help you to get this whole eyelash thing down and i just want to say thank you so much for watching my video i hope i didn't make it too long let's pray that you get these eyelashes down okay fingers crossed fingers crossed if you use the techniques that i showed you in this video and if they help please 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 come back to this video and know in the comments if you got your eyelashes down I would really really appreciate it if you would do that once again thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys